There he is. Running on the top of the game again. What is your secret, little man? What sort of sorcery is this? Anyway, as you can see in the background, that's our castle. Stickmen are gonna be attacking it today. Where do we leave off? Well, we've been fighting them for a while. And I finally figured out how to upgrade our soldiers. I've got a lot of cash. Oh man, I didn't know I could really spam my vortex. Look at this little Naruto runner. Get out of my wall. So basically, as you can see, I've got a lot of special abilities that I can use. Hey, how about that? These little stick guys try to attack my wall. And then I try to kill them. Basically, it's as simple as that. It's one of the funniest little stick man games I've found. I'm always in the market, guys, for finding more stick games. I love them. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's because it, like, reminds me of, like drawing stickman as a kid i don't know like that's the first thing that you learn how to draw right is like a stickman and then you give him weapons or maybe you give him a flying sheep and you're like hey flying sheep cavalry right or was that just me i don't know but essentially this is episode three <laughs> whoa did i do that or did the asteroid do that i'm not entirely sure laser that guy that effect seemed a little bit too quick. All right, we've got a problem here. I accidentally get the guy I was trying to vortex. So you're gonna see the health bar of my castle start to drop and even visually some stones falling out of the side of it. But I've got a few workers that I have on building duty. Let's see, who's moving real fast? You, get out of here, Billy. Oh wow, this guy's camouflage. That's one of the other issues I have is the dudes are the same color as the castle wall. That's called camouflage. And that's really tough to see. So let's see, do I wanna buy a few more workers? Yeah, let's buy a few more workers because basically I can capture these people by putting them into the prison like so. I can use my vortex to automatically capture them because I've upgraded my wizard, the dude up here who's watching ominously but also not really doing a whole lot to defend the castle. He's just standing up there. It's like, bro, do your job a little bit better, please. That guy has an arrow in the knee and now he's limping. That's hilarious. Asteroid. I like to kind of basically vortex the fast moving enemies. Oh, these guys are ganging up on my wall. All right, so now I think things have slowed down. There's this guy slow moving. I've got this explosives thing, right? All right, let's fire the explosive. Fire! I want to show it. Incoming bomb! But. The bomb didn't visually do anything. Now I've got a little bit of time to try to grab all of the gold chemistry sets. It's like, why is everybody an amateur chemist in this world? Before the game ends, that's probably something I should have been done instead of la 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 laying off. La 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 laying off is a word now. And now after surviving our first wave, what wave are we even on? Man. You can see I've got my cash, my magical abilities here. We've unlocked a few. Static drain. Oh man, this sounds like a really, really good effect. It's called Whirlwind. Absolute maximum super chaos whirlwind. So I think I want that one. And then we can get to basically unlocking the castle upgrade. So this is something I've been looking forward to. We can um, train wizards, and that's kind of what I want to do. The other one is Larissa's home. It's a, it's a bird that like helps us. I, I don't know what that means. I think she like drops rocks or maybe bombs. Who knows? But we are going to erect. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. No. We're gonna erect a wizard tower. So now we have wizards. And I still haven't seen this magic banana that you can summon attack the map, so that that's unfortunate. And here we go, we're gonna upgrade the uh, level at which our workers are healing our castle. I think that's pretty essential. And now we get, it's like, it's almost like Avatar in a way. So it's like, do we want ice? Fire, the fire nation. Well, then there's electricity and wind. So it's like, we're missing earth. And we're kind of missing water. We have ice, but you will just call them, you know, the water tribes. And I feel like Fire Nation it is. You can only have one. So we'll try fire in this next wave. And now we will continue. So basically, as we've upgraded our fortress, we've gotten much better at surviving these waves. Oh, look at this. I'm going to train a bunch of wizards. Okay, our wizard inventory is full. Oh, shoot. They're firing super lasers. These guys over here, all right, I've gotten, I've been kind of waiting to see what they do. And now that I see what they're doing, it's time to act here. Oh man, look at that, they're straight up burning them. 
I like how they're firing from the other side of the field, and it makes you think, like, why are these guys just running in this field? Speaking of fire, I've got fire of my own. Look at the the wizards are doing good. Now, I'm kind of curious to see our healers are doing much better. My health isn't really going down, right? So can I get any more of that? I think I can get more workers. So will this ever get to a point where I can actually be a passive participant and more just watching what's going on? I, I, I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. Look at how many guys are here. The archers are doing their best. The wizards are kind of taking their sweet time. But the healers are healing. I, I guess they're more of repairmen, aren't they? So I'm gonna call down all the power of the heaven. Did that guy jump over the wall? It kind of looked like he did. Now, why aren't you... Okay, they must be out of ammunition, the wizards. Or they just take a little while for mana to regenerate? I'm not entirely sure. I should have put that little vortex on the fast-moving guy and not the slow-moving guy. That's called a poor strategy, mate. And this is called stacking up a lot of attacks in one area because why not? So that was the one issue I made was since it's been a while since we played, like if you guys want this to be a more regular recurring series, let me know. You guys know what to do. You pull the trigger on the like button, you let me know in the comments, and then I see all those boo views and I'm like, hey, I had fun, they had fun, let's do more of that. Fast mover, get out of here. Yeah, I'm thinking the issue is my wizards aren't firing anymore. I'm not entirely sure why, I just know they're not. I wonder if there'd be a way to like, kind of like, put combo moves in the game, you know? Hello, Naruto, let's put you in this- oh look, I iced him and- <laughs> I don't know if that killed him. No, it didn't do near enough. Hey, look, <laughs> maybe I take it back. That guy just flew into the ozone layer. Hey, get away from my wall. Yeah, these wizard guys. Wizard tower's full. Craft an explosive, fire the explosive, fire there. Oh, that actually worked. We need more workers. What are you doing? Looked like he was playing like an imaginary violin. Okay, so that was the end of that one. We've survived another wave. I'm, I'm feeling pretty pretty good and look at how much gold is just over here yeah so this is what we upgrade the dedicated workers each worker in the workshop repairs an additional two castle health per rank whoa skill shots and then look at this more precision training your archers critical hits deal 180 percent damage yeah i need my wizards to be able to fire more they they, they seem to just slow down aha this is what we need. This skill require, requires the Sacrificial Soul Rune to be unlocked. So that's a castle upgrade. So that's what we need. Because our wizards, as powerful as they are, the ability to basically just be Cyclops. <laughs> I love the little dude with the tr uh, trumpet. There's the wizard. See, they're not doing a ton of damage. And I'm guessing that's because they haven't been fully upgraded yet. Like, they're not doing as much as the archers, but you can see how their effects stack, right? They're able to replenish arrows, they're able to fire infinitely now. Effectively, anyway. And they can, like, I can increase the amount of damage in their chance of dealing a critical hit, which is a huge boost to damage. Whoa, did I just double? Double up on my special abilities? I sure hope so. So where's the sacrificial altar? Okay, sacrifice a prisoner? Yeah, let's sacrifice a bunch of them. Oh, and it replenishes my mana. Okay, I see how it is. And look at these guys. They're actually putting a dent into my castle wall. It's kind of funny, because episode one, I was like, man, I wish this game had all these things. And look at that fire giant back there. He's a little bit scary. And then I realized they have a great deal. Not everything that I would like in the game, but a lot of them. That fire giant's huge. I actually want to see if my archers can take him out. I mean, probably not because they can't really take out the dudes that make it all the way to the wall. So I guess we kind of know the answer there. And once again, wizards are done. So let's see. I think I have to get an upgrade when I sacrifice a prisoner, which I can do capture using my black hole vortex. All right, so they're able to replenish the wall. I'm I'm trying to get all these vials, these chemistry sets. Come on, get out of my way, little dude. How's the wall doing? It's holding up. They're like in the way. Oh! Oh man, there's a lot of them. That is just a massive, yes, massive barrage. That's like this one right here. My third ability, which is a meteor shower. <laughs> How appropriate. I've been playing a little bit of Civilization VI a while back, and they released that new mode that, like, is Apocalypse Mode. And it's been a lot of fun, because you can, like, summon meteor strikes to smite your enemies. It's really cool. Kind of reminds me of Age of Mythology. You guys ever play that? This guy's actually dying to the archers. Fire the catapult! Can't we kill the... Did you see that? The, the bomb went like this, and went behind the wall. I don't know why. 
All right, so now we just got to get all of the goodies on the field, or at least as many as we can. I didn't really realize how good those vials were. Like, and that is how I like this critical hits doing even more. Ooh, your archers now come equipped with ice arrows or fire arrows. Well, we are the fire nation, are we not? So we'll do that, and then we'll upgrade our critical hit boost. And we're gonna increase the damage of all fire-related effects. So this is like, what, a stacking thing. We need a rune, the sacrificial soul rune. Oh, here it is. So we'll do this, and then we'll unlock this. Now it's active. So now my wizards should be able to fire as often as possible. And we're gonna, yeah, we're basically the fire nation right now. <laughs> All right, so let's see if the wizards and the archers can do most of the heavy lifting this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the occasional vortex. See, this is that bird that I think you can upgrade and he'll like do stuff. Wait, who's this dude? They have archers now? Ha! <laughs> Everybody's getting burned. I love it. Okay, we'll get someone that's not being burned. Yeah, wizards are doing better. Their mana is being replenished. And I think if they if they stop firing, what I need to remember is simply to sacrifice one of the prisoners. And also to keep up the prisoners by using my vortex ability. And I guess I can do this too. I can do it the old fashioned way. Why are they burning the dude I'm picking up? I, I don't want them to do that, you know? And as things get a little bit hectic, we'll have to be mindful to pick all the dudes that are attacking the wall. Come on, guys! I love this game, it's a lot of fun. Look at that, they're just burning him. He's bent over and he's getting burned, dude. That's gotta hurt. I would not wanna be him. I, I wish that on no man. So let's get more resources. I'm gonna try to get better about doing this during the game. At some point, I was like, man, there's just no way to keep up with this. I just have to keep clicking and throwing. And now, take tell you what, you take the time to learn the game a little bit better and you'd be surprised. Yay. But it is getting a little hectic. The wizards, okay, the wizards aren't doing anything. So let's sacrifice. Oh look, the guy got sacrificed and now the wizard's able to fire again. Okay, see? Now we'll even summon in some of that and summon in some of that. Yes! Burn them all! I feel like that Targaryen king who just kept saying it over and over and over. Maybe he was the original leader of the Fire Nation. Dude, if you could get dragons? Yeah, maybe if I could upgrade my little crow to a dragon. Let's sacrifice another prisoner, why not? Yeah, so now that my economy is essentially prisoners, right? So I should be capturing as many as possible. That is for sure. All right, this is a slow moving group. All right, gather some resources and convert more prisoners. And that's basically how it goes. And I'm, look at this stupid archer. He's doing a little bit of damage, so I'd imagine in the future what we're gonna see- Hey, there you are! Let's go ahead and sacrifice another one. Gather resources because it's gotta be getting close to done, right? One passive ability I'd like is to be able to send soldiers from the walls. Here we go. If you could improve this game or add something to it, what would you add? One of the things I'd like is a little gate with a portcullis. I think I talked about this in the last one. We could send little dudes out with like wheelbarrows to collect resources. All right, time to get to runes again. We have six, so we could do the final upgrade. 10% chance of a critical hit. A 10% chance with a current effect of 100. Does that mean they have a 100% chance? Oh my God, once again, they did it. Hey man, I really wish they had this thing in the game. And uh, they do. Any picker. For every prisoner you have in your barracks at the end of the stage, send out a stick man to pick up bags full of gold. These greedy little guys will only pick up gold and ignore the other loot. So is there a dude that gets chemicals? No way. I'm gonna get that for the next one. What other upgrades am I missing? Increase the kinetic force of your wizard's beam spells? My gosh, yes. Oh, and here's the wizard damage. This is the one we want. Oh my gosh, our wizards are gonna be so OP next time. Guys, if you wanna see more, let me know because I'm really enjoying this and there's it's just so much deeper of a game than I initially thought. So let me know if you guys wanna see more and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.